So, um, changing the colors in Illustrator is not that difficult as long as you have a vector file because the layers are all nice and laid out for you. So, I'm going to do this file as an example. Um, and what we're wanting to do is change the black text to white text so that this can also go on a um, dark hoodie. Um, there is a trick that I like to use because once you turn this to white, you're not going to be able to see it that well. Um, so I go to document setup or alt control P. Here, I change it to, let's do yellow. And when you change your artboard, make sure you click simulate color paper, otherwise it's not going to work. So click simulate color paper. Okay. For some reason, and I don't know what this reason is, but you can see over here where everything turns yellow, but your artboard is not yellow. One day I just randomly did control minus in you know, it changed. And so control plus and minus is how you zoom in and out. And I went to zoom out or in or whatever I was doing and it changed. So that's what works for me. It may be, I don't know, a bug or something. But anywho, what we wanna do is change everything that is here in black to white. Now you can select all these and do it all at once, which is what I would do. And so to do that, you're going to hold down control and select each layer that you want to change the color for. After you select each layer, you're gonna to go to properties and you're gonna change the fill color. In this instance, we wanna change it to white and of course that is zero color. And there you have it. You have changed your file from black to white, it's that simple um, on files that are this simple. Now, what I can do is part two with a more, um, a more uh, intricate file where you may have to change multiple colors. And I'll also um, make sure to link you to the Pantone website that I use, it's my favorite. There's a bunch of them out there but that one is my absolute favorite. So um, again, changing from black to white, super simple. You know, when you're looking at your CMYK, K stands for black. If you're changing something to black, you know, everything's gonna be zero and black will be 100. If you're changing something to white, white is the absence of color. So it is zero all the way down. Um, I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna do a part two to um, do a little more of a little more complex graphic. Um, and then of course, show you same principles applied. You just have to do certain things over and over again, so on and so forth. So that is that. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So, um, part two, this is not necessarily all that complex, but what I'm going to do is change um, where you see the words that are in different colors or in the same color, but not black. Um, I'm going to show you how to deal with all of those nice um, words. You have to forgive me. I'm super sleepy. I haven't had any sleep, so if I'm a little bit slow, that's why. But anywho, so say we're going to put this on a red garment, a red t-shirt, a red hoodie, a red something. Um, as I said before, in order for you to be able to see these types of things, and again, 
Let me show you an example of how it looks when. So, I mean, you can still see it. It's just for me easier if I have a background behind it so that I can actually see what the color is doing. So we're going to undo that. Um, so again, we're going to do this on a red, something or another. And again, this is what you see when you click these. It just happens to pile up on my other stuff. But I'm going to change both of these to red. And what this is doing is essentially changing the color of what's called your artboard. And your artboard is essentially the board that you put your artwork on is kind of self-explanatory. And Illustrator gives you the option to change the color of your artboard for this very reason. It's super simple to do by going to document setup, changing your colors over here on your grid and simulating the color paper. Boom. As I said before, we took the break for some reason, control minus changes the color. Again, I don't know. That's just something I figured out. Um, so here, we want to make this look good on a red, um, let's just say hoodie. So we're going to make this text white. And again, there are two ways to select, uh, select the uh, layer. You can click it, or you can click it here. But make sure when you click it here, you don't do this, because that's technically not, well, that's not technically. It is not selecting the layer at all. And then you'll go starting to do work on stuff and can't figure out what happened. So make sure that if you're selecting the layer via the panels over here, that you click into it. And as you can see, the pop-up indicates selected art, click to select art, okay? So we're going to change everything in black to white. We can do that one by one by selecting each layer, or we can do like um, before, and select the layers that you want to change. This is a little bit hard to see. Control here, here, not here, not here. Oh, there it is, here, here, and here. All right. So these are the, um, the words that we want to change from black to white. And so we're going to, after we select our layers, go over to the Properties tab, choose Fill, and again, White, no color. There you have it. You can also change the fill over here in your toolbar by doing essentially the same thing. Double click Fill, it looks a little different, but it's still the same thing. And your CMYK over here, you have 0000. zero, 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 zero. And, and your hex code for white is six Fs. So either way, you can do it. I just prefer to select my layers, go to property, properties, and then fill, but you can also do it over here on your um, toolbar. So the um, crumbs, bones, cakes, and snakes. Since this is a red garment, I want to do these in black. So again, you can click to select it. So we got crumbs, oh, I didn't select cake. There we go. So we got crumbs, bones, cakes, and snakes, and we want those to be black. So properties, fill, or Click on your fill over here. Now, remember, as I said before, CMYK, K stands for black. If we're making this black, there'll be no other colors necessary and 100% black. And there you have it. Now, the question becomes, since this is a red hoodie, do we want the snake to be white? Do we want to like change the colors and do all kinds of nice little stuff with this? Because the snake is actually these layers right here. So essentially, if we wanted to, we could go and we could change this part of the snake to be white. This part of the snake to be this. See, 
See, so like you can change it to be all kinds of things. Um, the reason that I kind of keep these simple, um, oops, I should have just control Z this out. But okay. The reason why I would keep this simple and just make it white is because it just makes your life easier when it comes to preparing mock-ups and the like. Because I um, do white tone and printing. I try not to make things more complicated than they have to be. And now we have a white snake. So this is how you would look if you had on a red garment. I don't like the way this snake looks. And this is technically not a part of this tutorial, but since you're here, I'm going to do it anyway. If you look at the snake, if you look at the snake, like it loses the detail once you change the color from black to white. What you can do is select the entire snake and go over here to something called stroke. Stroke is essentially like an outline. Um, it enhances the detail, so on and so forth. Um, because all my other words here are in black, I'm going to add a black stroke to this snake just so you can see exactly what it does. And again, CMYK, K stands for black. So all your value, values will be zero except for the K value, which will be black. You can also click it there because we've used it before. All right, and with your stroke, you kind of have to eye it to see exactly, you know, how you want it to look. I typically start with five and then work my way up or down. So as you can see, when I added the stroke at five, it is entirely, entirely too much. Um, all right, so let's go down four, three, two, one-ish, and there we go. So when you look at it now, I don't know why I roll back. <laughs> so when you look at it now, you can see a little bit more of the detail, the definition of the snake, so you know exactly what you're looking at. And of course, as I said before, a lot of these things you just kind of have to play with to see what looks the best. Um, but yeah. So that is what I like to call a quick and dirty tutorial on how to manipulate the layers simply to um, switch them around so that you can put them on different colored garments. A lot of people, um, especially people who purchase files and don't necessarily know how to manipulate them, this is a really, really, really good thing to learn how to do, um, especially in Illustrator. So if... I have answered all your questions. Great. If not, you can ask everything and anything possible. Um, and hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe to my channel.